Hey everybody, it's Ash here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Hive OS image. Now, if you're somebody who's interested in mining, maybe you got your, yourself a GPU, maybe you're a gamer and you wanna switch over to mine it with your computer, this is how you can potentially do so using a Linux installation. Now, I personally do mine ETH on Hive OS. And so I've been doing so for the better part of a year now, and it is absolutely amazing. You can remote control your software, your rigs, your graphics cards, you can overclock them, and it's really, really awesome, really lightweight. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that, specifically how to install that on a USB flash drive. So you don't actually have to completely format or replace your current operating system. You can just set this up on a USB flash drive and then just boot off the USB flash drive whenever you want to launch the Linux installation, the Linux operating system. So I'll show you guys how that looks. First thing you wanna do is hit, you wanna head over to hiveos.farm and you wanna click on the install button here. And so when you do that, you'll be greeted with this menu section here. Click on the GPU, click on the zip button here and then it'll go ahead and download that for you. So I'm pretty sure that I already have this downloaded, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that, right? The second thing you wanna do is head over to belina.io slash etcher. Now this is gonna help you write the image file that you just downloaded from HiveOS. It's gonna help you write that operating system to a flash drive. So just choose the operating system that you're using here. I'm using Windows, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose download for Windows. And again, it's gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just cancel it because I already have it. Once you're ready and you've got your operating system downloaded as well as your Belina software downloaded, and I'll show you what that looks like on my computer here. Okay, so here's my finder. You'll notice that I've got the Belina Etcher and I've also got the HiveOS image. You'll notice it is a HiveOS um, 0.6, dash 208 stable at etc etc dot img dot xz okay that's really important okay next step you, what you want to do is you want to head over to your pc and you want to ins you want to insert your flash drive now i recommend having a flash drive that is at least eight gigabytes or more however if you are somebody that wants to use a ssd instead that's also totally fine in fact i actually recommend using ssds as they perform better. But USB flash drives are completely fine, especially if they're the newer kind. They work really great on a USB 3.0 or 3.1 port. Just make sure that you format that if it has been used before. So it might take you a couple minutes here, but I prefer to just fully format, not quick format, okay? So let's go ahead and launch the Belina Etcher software and show you what the installation looks like. So we're gonna click on the Belina Etcher software. Now this is an installable file, so I've already installed it on my system. You'll have to make sure you do that first. And this is what the interface looks like. So you're gonna want to click on flash from file and then choose your image. So that's gonna be the latest image that we downloaded today. I'm gonna choose select target. And now I'm gonna choose the SanDisk Cruiser Blade. That's basically the flash drive I'm going to be using for this build. I actually have, I'll just show you guys what I'm gonna be running here in terms of hardware. So these are my, my specifications. So I'm actually gonna be doing it on this computer. I've got an RTX 3080 Ti, and this is gonna be mining ETH. I might also set it to mine Ergo, depending, or Ravencoin, depending on profitability. But that's really, really easy in HiveOS. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that very soon. All right, and then of course, I'm also gonna be using my CPU here to mine Raptorium. And Raptorium is a very new coin, which is a proof of work protocol that's CPU mineable. So if you've got a CPU like this, you could potentially make a very decent return on Raptorium, especially if it increases in value over time. So that's something that's really cool, really exciting. I'm hoping to use the power of the CPU as well as GPU simultaneously to mine. All right, so when you click on the flash button, it's gonna flash your device. All right, now this might take a little time depending on how fast your device is and how fast your port is. 
So I'm gonna pause the video and come back when we are done. All right, and with the power of video editing, we have finished our flash. Now, one thing to note here is that after you have flashed your device, it will go through a verification process, which should take another five minutes to verify. And so I've already completed that. And as you can see, it says flash complete and successful, which means we are ready to jump into Hive OS. So the next step that you wanna do here, we'll just close out this window and close out this window. Next step you wanna do is head over to the Hive OS website and you wanna sign up to their platform. Make sure that you set up two-factor authentication so that you have a safe account. So I'm just gonna click on the sign in button. I've already done so. And as you can see, here I am in my account, all right? So now I want to basically add a rig to my farm. I can add, I have the option of adding an entirely new farm, but I'm just gonna keep it in this particular space here. Uh, I might add like an ASIC farm at a later stage. Okay, so as you can see, I currently have three rigs running. They're doing a total of 729 mega hash. I had some cards die on me, unfortunately. Uh, I lost probably a good 150 to 200 mega hash, unfortunately. So lots of cards died on me, and right now I am down to these cards that are left. Regardless, we're gonna add our most recent one, which is the 3080 Ti. So we're gonna click on Add Worker. I'll try to make this a little bit bigger so you can see. Click on the plus sign on the very top. Click Add Worker. And here, you're gonna be asked what you want to name the worker. So we're gonna call it RTX 3080 Ti Home Rig, Home Rig. Let's name it NVIDIA. All right, cool. So it's gonna give you this message here. Okay, I'm gonna obviously block out my, my rig ID and password, but you'll notice that you'll be seeing a farm hash, a rig ID and a password. You'll want to click on the download button to download this file. This needs to be copied onto your, uh, onto your flash drive, okay? So right now you'll notice that the flash drive does not show up. So what we're gonna do is eject the flash drive and then put it back into the PC. And let's put it back in. Okay, so now you'll notice that it has shown up here as well as um, I can see my device, which is Hive, and that's basically the G drive. So I'm gonna open up uh, the G drive here. Uh, in fact, let's just copy this file. Let's copy it. Let's go back here and simply just paste the file in there. So now, once that works, you will basically have your rig ready to go. So the, all you need to do now is reboot your PC, and then you should be ready to go. So I'm gonna show you what that process looks like in just a sec. So I've had to switch computers for this part because I'll be showing you the home rig uh, 3080 Ti live. So right now I'm just gonna reboot the computer. You'll notice that it still looks like it's offline. Here it is, it appears in your rig list here. All right, so I'm just gonna hit the refresh button again and you'll notice that the rig shows up, which is really cool. Now, here's the other thing. The rig will not have any flight sheets or anything like that active right now. You'll notice that my graphics card appears, no problem. Temperature is 44 degrees. So what we're gonna do first off is we are going to um, upgrade this. So you'll see a little yellow icon here. You can just simply hit that to upgrade, and it's gonna tell you what updates it's gonna run. Click upgrade, and you should be able to upgrade to the latest software. All right, so while it's upgrading, we're gonna build ourselves a flight sheet. If this is the first time that you're using Hive OS, it's probably better to set up global flight sheets by clicking on the name of your farm there. The first thing, of course, is clicking on wallets and making sure that you've set up wallets. So these are all the wallets that I've set up. To set up a wallet, click on Add Wallet. Choose the kind of wallet or the coin that you want to mine. In this case, it's call it ETH. Put in your address, put in a name, put in a source if you want to, it's not mandatory. And you're gonna choose click on Save as Global Wallet and if possible, fetch wallet balance, okay? Now this is beta, so it won't always show how much funds you've got in your wallet. So just go ahead and click on create. 
this is my uh, wallets that I'll be mining to, which is really cool. So next thing, once you've set up your wallets, you want to head over to the flight sheet section. This section here is really quite important. Okay, so here you can choose the type of coin you want to mine. Next, you'll want to select the wallet that you're going to mine to. So in this case, I'm going to mine to my Exodus ETH wallet. Next, go ahead and choose the pool that you want to use. So in my case, it's Easel. So this stage is quite important. So make sure that you choose, uh, you can choose the secure and it's going to give you some options here. In case you're having connectivity problems to the pool, just make sure that you switch it back from uh, secure to insecure. All right, I'm going to just choose all of them um, in this particular order. So in case one of them fails, it'll automatically switch to the next one. Okay, so next I'm going to choose the miner. Now, this is really important, especially for limited hash rate cards. You're going to choose NB Miner. Currently, NB Miner is the only one that allows you to have the highest hash rate. So you can use about 70% off your GPU. So still limited hash rate, but not quite as bad as some of the other miners out there. So I'm going to be giving that a try. Um, we're not going to put in any arguments for now. Just get, click on the apply changes button. Now, if you're dual mining, you can click on add miner here. In this case, I'm going to be adding the Raptorium RTM. I don't have a wallet for RTM at the moment, so I'm obviously going to delete this, but you do have the option to dual mine, or you also have the option to um, mine both GPU and CPU, and maybe even Chia at some point. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close that out. But that little button right there, add miner, that's going to help you add more miners simultaneously to the same rig. So I'm going to click on create flight sheet. So now that our flight sheet's ready, we're going to basically attach it to our rig. So we're going to head over to workers. And now I'm going to click on this section right here. RTX 3080 Ti. You'll notice that uh, I did try to update it, but unfortunately it didn't work. So I'm going to do a second option here and click on Hive Shell Start. This allows me to remote control the device using the command line. This is a bit advanced, so I'll try to do it slowly so you can see what's happening. So again, you can access the command line or remote control via any of these options. I prefer Hive Shell Start. So we want to attach a flight sheet. So next, what we're going to do is go onto the flight sheet and notice it says no flight sheet attached. Just click on that and you're going to click on the flight sheet that you just created. So in this case, it's the NB Miner. So I'm going to choose NB Miner. I'm just going to open it here really quickly to make sure everything is correct. Looks pretty good. I'm going to compare it to my main T-Rex miner. Everything looks pretty good. So that looks fine. I'm just going to choose this one and click on this little launch icon, which looks like a spaceship. Hopefully when you click apply, you'll be ready to start mining. So let's have a look and see how it goes. And this is what it looks like when you remote access the computer. So notice it tells you what's happening. Everything looks fine. I'm going to click on, I'm going to type in minor, and this is going to show me what's happening on the minor screen. So you'll notice it's going ahead and installing some important um, things for NB minor. Once it's done, it'll then start mining. All right, so now that we are waiting for the minor configuration to load, we're going to go ahead and overclock our graphics card. All right, so to do that, you want to head over to the right side of the graphics card. So every graphics card will say GPU and give you a number. And then on the right side, you'll see overclock settings. So you can set overclocks by simply clicking this little overclock icon. And then you can set your own overclocks, or if you want, you can choose popular presets. So notice here, there's some really cool popular presets. You've got uh, some really cool memory options here. And that's hopefully going to help you boost your, uh, your clocks. So I'm going to go ahead and choose um, the 
coin first, which is ETH. You'll notice they have lots of coins. So Autokylos is probably the um, most profitable right now on this card. So those are the settings for Autokylos. I'm going to choose ETH. And now it's going to give me the best settings for ETH. So it's going to tell me I need to set my, um, my core to 1700 my memory to 1500 my power limit to 260 now i can do that but i also can change that any time that i prefer i prefer to actually choose this option right here so just based on some settings that i've tested so i'm going to choose this option and nice so here i'm going to set this to minus 200 and for the memory clock, if I'm not mistaken. So if in, if it's 800 megahertz in Windows, it should be 1600 megahertz here. So I've set mine to 1300 megahertz in Windows. So it's going to be 2600 here. So for the fan, we'll set it to auto. The power limit, we will set it to 270. And of course, um, we'll leave everything else as is. Click on apply. So now we've applied some overclocks. All right, so I've just double checked and everything seems to be fine. So I'm just gonna head back over here and I'm gonna check my miner. You'll notice that now it says login succeeded and it's gonna tell me how I'm doing. It's also gonna set the limited hash rate mode automatically, which is really cool. And that's going to basically show me about 70% or 69% of my performance, of my true performance, have the card not been limited hash rate. So now we are accepting shares already. So that's really cool. I'm going to just uh, jump back over here to the, to the Hive OS, click on the overview section, and I'll notice that right now it's giving me a hash rate of 51 so I'm just gonna refresh this here really quickly so as you can see it's going up slowly what I can do is I can just go ahead and choose auto fan on and make sure that my core temperature is like 55 and my target mem temperature is like um, 65 and let's make sure it's no MD and let's reboot on errors if we have any. So I'm just going to choose apply. So hopefully now the fan will automatically kick in and cool the card uh, so that I don't have to set um, a specific fan speed there. So this is a really cool feature. Another really cool feature is called hash, day, hash rate watchdog. If you want to turn this on, it's going to make sure that your hash rate doesn't drop below a certain level. And that way you can unlock the most um, features in your card. So, all right. So as you guys can see, we're getting up to 75.876 mega hash on this. Could do a quick refresh here. So you can see what that looks like. 57 degrees, which is pretty good. Uh, fan is running around 80%. So of course it is in my case right now. Um, 34 shares, 100%. Um, and so that's pretty good. So that, my friends, is how you can set this up. And of course, anytime you want to um, observe or manage your rig, you'll just need to sign into your Hive OS account. Uh, of course, I've already signed into mine, so you'll be able to manage all your rigs from one place. So as you can see, there's a 3080 Ti right there. Now again, Silicon Lottery on these ha uh, on these limited hash rate cards. I, it looks like I'm only able to get up to 76 mega hash at the moment with these overclock settings. I might mess around a little bit later to, to see if I can push it a little bit further, maybe increase the power, the memory, that sort of thing. But for now, things are looking pretty good and uh, I'm happy. So uh, let's call that a win. Awesome. So if you like this video, guys, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you also subscribe, share it with your friends. Hopefully this guide will help them out too. Appreciate you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, everybody.